from Channel 4 San Diego. This is San Diego Insider Magazine. The physical challenges of having a disability can lead to amazing human feats. One San Diego man who likes to refer to himself as differently abled teaches kids a lesson in embracing our differences. It's laundry day for Tom Willis. And doing laundry is just one of the many things he's learned to do in life without arms. I was born with only one small hand on this side. This is called focomelia is the, uh, the technical term for it. And basically it's a small arm or hand or whatever you want to call it with just the two fingers. His fingers help him do things like type but he uses his feet for almost everything else. I just basically picked up crayons with my toes and started to draw and started to color and do everything using my feet. He's even able to drive using a foot steering system. And for 12 years, Tom had a successful career as an educational television producer for the U.S. government. Now he spends his time going to San Diego County Schools. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. He leads an interactive assembly called No Hands, No Arms, No Problem. At first, there, you know, it's it's the stare, it's the, the deathly quiet because they're all, wow, look at him. And I immediately break that stare with activities designed to get them to think of what I can do versus what I can't do. Are you guys ready back there? Oh, oh. He created the program to teach kids how to interact with people who are physically different. So during his assembly, he talks openly about his disability. So I don't have arms and I don't have hands, but it's not a problem. And he even gets the students to try doing simple tasks using their feet. All right, we've got our artists at work over here. I just want kids to be able to understand that being, uh, being different is okay. There's nothing wrong with it. So what I try to do is, through my example, show them how I've lived my life and how I've had obstacles and challenges in my way, but I don't let them stop me from doing what I want to do. Something as simple as putting on a hat can be difficult for Tom. I'll do this a hundred times. But with great determination and unique problem solving, but twice is enough. He's learned to overcome the many obstacles he faces. So, what do the kids get out of Tom's presentation? A few life lessons that can be used outside the classroom. Tom, he said don't give up on if you fail the first time, because you can keep trying and you might succeed. It's okay to be different, and as you do things differently, that's okay, because as long as you get it done, that's fine. Now comes the trick. How do I get it up to my mouth? Well, my life is my feet. I'll just it would be convenient like to have arms but it would change my life completely, and I don't think so. And now I have a nice cup of water. I think I'd rather just be who I am.